So I think the last time we talked, we were just getting starting, started on the uh, structural steel frame. And since then, um, we've erected the steel frame. And, and right now, it is erected with the exception of some minor detailing that we're finishing up right now. Um, so we've moved out of the structural phase and we are into the building envelope phase. So the biggest change probably that everyone sees as they're driving by is the precast going up on the outside of the building, which is about 75% complete at this time. A couple things to keep in mind, um, the precast panels on the building, we started casting those in August and we didn't start erecting them till December. So that, product, that process of casting those panels took about three months. And then pretty similar on the parking garage, we started casting those panels in September and started erecting them um, in November, a little bit quicker. Um, but the, the panels and the structure for the parking garage was cast uh, just outside of Atlanta and shipped up here. Um, a lot of very careful planning went into place. So all these pieces fit together just right. And uh, similar for the uh, judicial building, the exterior of it. A lot of very careful planning. So out in front of the building, we have a single story and a two story, uh, what's called the entry pavilion. So the, the very front of that building, that's the public entrance for the judicial building. There'll be a security checkpoint there that everyone will pass through, have their bags checked. Um, and then there's a two story lobby behind that that will kind of serve as uh, kind of a gathering place. And uh, there'll be an escalator there and a monumental staircase and there'll be signage that will direct people to the places they need to go inside the building. So that's called a cupola. It's supposed to mimic um, the cupola that's on top of the historic courthouse on the square. Not be exactly like it, but uh, be similar to it. So it'll be an open structure. It'll have up lighting in it that will light it up at night. Um, it's you know an architectural feature that kind of identifies the building in, in the skyline. We've already started work on the interior, so we're working on uh, framing interior walls and the overhead mechanical, electrical, and plumbing rough-ins. Uh, we framed walls up through the third floor, pretty much complete, and they are framing walls on the fifth and sixth floor right now. Uh, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing rough-in, is uh, probably 90% complete on the first floor, probably 75% complete on the second floor, and is uh, underway on the third floor and the fifth floor. I think when we talked last, we were just starting foundations over here on the garage. The foundations are obviously complete, and the uh, precast structure is also complete. We're in the process of pouring the topping slabs and the slab on grade in the parking garage. And then immediately after that, we'll be installing lighting and finishing up drain systems and uh, then landscaping and installing an elevator. And, and we're done over here. This, this project, this garage, um, from our standpoint, will be complete uh, sometime in mid-May. Um, we're still on schedule for uh, completion of the parking garage, as I said, uh, this spring. Um, early summer and then the judicial building is on schedule to be completed April 1st of next year.